Do you guys remember that band Anal Cunt? Were they good? I, I, I feel like they've been broken up for a while now. I don't know if I ever was into them. Like they had that song, I Just Saw the Gayest Guy on Earth. That, like, when I was in, like, sixth grade was really funny. Um, but I don't know if they were good. I, but I'm also not interested in finding out. But with a winning name like Anal Cunt, like, I'm going to remember that name forever. No matter what happens, I'm always going to remember Anal Cunt. Lifelink is a fantastic hardcore band from Phoenix who have been fucking killing it and burning up the scene lately. Um, and they, they haven't even played here like in, in a while. Like they've, they've been, they haven't played a whole lot of local shows, and still they're managing to be legendary and fucking ki- kill it in the Phoenix scene. Um, I really can't think of many more legendary band names like Lifelink right now. They are absolutely... They're fucking murderers, man. And I had Calm and Luke on the show, and they're wonderful, sweet, humble, just like dudes who you can tell have been in a van. You know, you can tell that these guys have toured, and they're not full of themselves, and they're very humble. And um, that's exactly what I want to see, man. That's that's what I like in bands. So I fucking love them. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> Welcome to Getting Stoked. I am, as ever, Matt Slusser, and with me I have the wonderful, so far wonderful, Lifelink, uh, who is Luke. Talk. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and <laughs> Calm. Hey. What's up, guys? I'm happy that you're here. We were just talking about how um, I've licked my salt lamp that we have set up here before. I'm so about to lick it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so how was that little fucking um, tour you guys finished up last month? It was awesome. It was last month, right? Yeah. we. It was really, really short. It was just a little run for us. Uh-huh. Um, it was just pretty much to New Mexico and Texas, and then played a little fest in Texas, and then came back home. It was great. That's that, that's fucking awesome, man. What made you guys want to do a Texas run? Um, we got offered this festival called No Sleep. Our friend Pablo puts it on, and so we wanted to play it because a bunch of our buddy bands were playing it, and so like, we just rattered a bunch of dates out there and then played it, and it was so cool. That, that that's fucking awesome. I mean, what's the scene like over there? It's nuts. Those kids Is are crazy. It? Are they? <laughs> yeah. Those kids are sick. Everybody rolls out and everybody's nice. The bands are good. Um, uh, yeah. What was that? Tell me. Tell me. Give me some fucking stories, man. Give me some some details. The the venue at that No Sleep Fest is held at is like an abandoned like hospital. Clinic. Yeah, it's what called the, the clinic. Yeah. yeah. People. Some people said that it was like. Uh, an haunted. insane asylum, like a haunt dude. And I went, I took a shit in a bathroom <laughs> upstairs and it was the scariest bowel movement. Did your ass get possessed? I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I, I had a, we, we had a great day though. Yeah, so. yeah no, it was <laughs> so <laughs> fun. It was, the ghost really, what it was doing. It was fun. But yeah, there was like a room that had nothing in it, but like a rocking chair and a candle. What the fuck? And like, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know. Do you think it was set up to be that way to like scare you guys or was it legit? You think? I worked. don't know. It, it worked. worked. <laughs> <laughs> they got us. That's hilarious. That's where you played? Yeah, it was well, it was a big fest. There was like I don't know, thirty bands on it. And like our little brother band Jenny Co was playing, like, and they were they're like big in Texas. So uh-huh. like they headlined. So it was just like all of our friends just hanging out and we were like I don't know. It was really, really fun. Just Dude, like so much fun. And and you guys opened for the faceless, right? Yeah, yeah that's that was weird. fucking insane. Oh I just cool. discovered them like two weeks ago, and I'm just obsessed. discovered them. I know. I'd for, I'd, sorry, I've, I've been out of like, oh, I haven't man. listened to like metal in a long ass time. And then I got this wild hair like a month ago, and I'm just like so far down the rabbit hole now. And their new album fucking kills. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I, I don't know. All of us have listened to The Faceless for like 10, 15 years, and I. Like, we were all just like, this is crazy. Like, I don't know. And we had never played in, what was it? El El Paso? Where was it? El Paso, yeah. Yeah. We were in El Paso, and, like, the venue was awesome. Kids, like, hung out, and, like, just seeing the faceless just riff was so tight. Like, I don't know. That's amazing, dude. Like, were they really cool guys, or did you meet them? Um, Yeah, afterwards, 
I actually hung around and they all bought me tequila shots at the bar. That's and fucking awesome. I was like, this is like something I'm going to tell my friends. Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and I was really stoked about it. Did, it's, are you, have, you, have you been one of the people who are like lucky enough to have met your heroes and they'd be cool? Or have you met like assholes? I don't know. Uh, I've done, yeah. I definitely had my share of both. Like have both. we met any heroes? I don't know. Like, yeah. like Vanna, like for instance, like Vanna's a pretty big band. And we played with them a couple of times. And those guys are those always guys are so sweethearts. nice. They're like nice as fuck to us. Like when we, we played at I Matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- um, they, like there was catering for like <clears throat> breakfast, lunch, dinner. And like I remember like lunch, I was just like <laughs> sitting down by myself eating this like pasta salad or something. And then like... All of Anna just came and sat next to me and then just hung out with me. That's and like amazing. I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess like we're friends. Dude, I saw yeah. Vanna in fucking two thousand and eight. Like two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Um, I used to live in Ohio and they played this fucking this club there with some other locals, um, and it, they were amazing. It was insane. They're really good. I think it was yeah, they were they were around back then, right? Two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was like that was when I, day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I I was like 14 or 15 or something like that and there was some dude they fucking destroyed i think one of my friends got kicked in the throat like yeah. <laughs> it was super super wild well it's cool i'm happy that you guys met those guys like they're just nice like i don't know they're really nice because heroes like i've met some i met a couple assholes like the guy from off with their heads was kind of an asshole he was like nice kind of i feel like i've met some dickheads but i don't even know who they are yeah, we don't have to call him out. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, let's talk some shit. Yeah. Um, so, what, were you guys about to go on a tour or something like that? Wasn't there something in the works with that? I Didn't you say something like you guys are going to go on the road? Yeah, we we would be leaving like today or tomorrow or something. Could have been yesterday, I think. So, something like, yeah, I think the the first show would have been yesterday. But uh, yeah, we had, to, we had to cancel that because there was just a lot of like, I don't know, like personal stuff. Uh, with some of our members. That, oh, shit, I got you. Yeah. Just, that happens. Yeah, kind of Tor- like get some stuff together. Tours are fucking together. hard, dude. Yeah. Especially when you're all like 20-somethings and you're working full-time jobs. Mm-hmm. And a lot of us are getting sick and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, fuck, dude, it's really rough. And you're, yeah. al- and you're always, I, I don't know about you, I'm always sick on tour because I'm just sharing space with like three or four other nasty people and we're just breathing in recycled air. Yeah. It's not tour unless you get sick. No, it's not. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah. so it's fun though. I know um Forrest from Sundress had some crazy rash on his back like on their last That's tour. That's cuz Forrest is gross. <laughs> you hear that Forrest? <laughs> Fuck, dude. I, he's he's a sweetie. I have yet to meet him in person, but we've, yeah. like, set up shows together over text message. And he, like, what I love about him is that he sends, like, eight novels of text messages every single... Did he do that for you, too? Like, yeah, because he's, <laughs> he's a nerd. You hear that one for us? Um, <laughs> I'm just talking for us. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. What was, um, what was Prescott like? I knew you guys were there, too. You went all over the fucking place. Oh, man. That was so cool. I didn't even know that many kids lived in Prescott. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I, I was so blown away. It was such a fun show. Like, I don't know. Where did you guys play at? Um, this tattoo cool place? tattoo shop. Yeah. Was that, was that Hard Luck? Hard Luck. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I've heard about that place. I haven't been in. I think we yeah. were gonna. I was going to play a show there once, and then it ended up not happening. Or something. Dude, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it? yeah. yeah. Uh, dude, it was sweet. They were all so nice, and like we played with American Standards, and that was like really funny because like we hadn't seen them in a while, and they're, they're great. Yeah, oh, there's <laughs> there's something about the things that guy says on stage that like he's so funny to me. There's something like, that he says in um, person. That's I mean everything he says is like I've known him for a ridiculously short amount of time but he's like not only is he really sweet but he's brilliant and funny and crazy Dude, hard working as shit seriously we played a house show with him one time and he's like mid set tells this girl hey can you go into the bathroom and there's something in the bathroom and the girl goes into the bathroom and the she fuck? comes back with like a, a bike pump what the fuck and he's like I need you to pump this crowd up <laughs> and I was like Dude, that is so cool. Like, That's ridiculous. I thought it was so funny. I that is know. hysterical. Yeah, that guy's got jokes, man. 
ah, fuck. I have to now. I have to do. I have to come up with some shit like that. That is so fucking. He's funny. good. He's great, dude. He he was showing me after the show. I was asking him questions about like, hey, what do you think is a good? We were just talking about branding and stuff, and he pulls up this thing on his notes on his phone, and he's like, here's everybody I've sent our music to, and all of their links, and when I sent it to them, and here's all like he has these scrupulous notes. He's like, I'm on you know on such and such sites for hours at a time. Like that dude's fucking working. He is on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is for sure. Um, so how many tours have you been a part of? Because like, we're just talking about all um, these different trips. Uh, um, I don't know. So we have, we have our, like our laminates hanging up in our van. And I think we have like 10 of those. Holy shit. Are those like now these little like week runs? or no. Some of them are like a month and a half. So yeah. Some of them are for like... A week, yeah. I think the longest one was like 38 days. Holy shit. Who were you with? Bungor oh, and Until we're, we're Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Synchronicity. <laughs> where, where, what was the worst place to play on that on that 30 on that month tour? What I mean, was like the hardest night. We've done three full U.S. tours, and I got to tell you, I hate the South. Oh, yeah. Fucking, like, yeah. I can see that. Oh, dude, it, like, <laughs> it's rough. It's a rough room, man. And I don't like the Carolinas. Fuck North Carolina. <laughs> fuck South Carolina. I don't like Carolinas. Wait, what happened in the Carolinas? Dude, dude that it's... was another pooping experience for me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, <was, laughs> I want to tell this story dude, please, just dude. briefly. I was, uh, tell, tell, I, long, tell the long story. Give me all the details. <laughs> that's, I mean, I, I, could, I could put it short was and sweet. It so, I mean, I was, so we went to the mall. We, all, we like going to malls. So we don't have time. <gasps> <laughs> okay, and I, right. I had to shit, so I went to go into the uh, the public bathroom in the mall, and it was like really busy, which is what makes it so much more surprising, is that this guy like walked past my stall, and then like I was like, oh, he's probably just checking to see if somebody's in, and then every time he'd walk, he'd like keep walking back and forth, he'd go slower and slower. What? The yeah, fuck? and I was like, this is kind of fucking weird, and I had to like stop pooping for a second, and then he like sat, I like recognized his shoes. He sat in the stall next to me. And then I saw his head like stick underneath the, the, the stall, yeah. And then and I was like, I like yelled at him. I should have kicked him in the face. Yeah, you I should have. Okay, but nobody else in the band was there, so I don't know how much of this I believe. <laughs> no, I swear. I like, dude, I can't make that. I up. want to believe it so bad. I'm just gonna. So do it. I. He was pissed. <laughs> he came back to the van. He was so mad. We, I walked around the mall for a long time trying to find that guy. <laughs> he oh, is just so looking pet. at people's shoes. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and I told the promoter that that night, and she it was in Fi- uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina, and she was like, she's like, yep, that's Fayetteville. Oh, like, that's the normal thing uh, to happen. So that's I just guess. what they do over in Fayetteville. Yeah. They, just, they just like put their hands in their stalls and hope that someone put the dick in them. Like, just, dude. Or like the little, like, you know, if you remember there's like people that always talk about like they tap in a bathroom and like some dude will come on the other side. Like yeah. the, the little codes. And oh, stuff. yeah, yeah. That, that like that asshole like, minister Is guy that got busted. Is that how they for. go about it? Yeah, like, what it's was like, that guy's name? It's Morris like a, Code and then you get your dick sucked? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, um, what was that guy's name? He was a, he was like a, uh, pastor or something he was like a real big like anti-gay guy and he got caught like fucking dudes in a bathroom by doing that he was trying to get people to fuck him what do you think the code was like dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it was probably like <laughs> like he just <laughs> some and then he hopes that somebody like bump bumps on the other side <laughs> i want to rape you <laughs> just fucking rub man yeah the south i mean i'm from ohio which is like south ish but i would always have to go to the south to get anywhere else i needed to go when did you move here i moved here in 2009 Oh man, our buddies' bands are motives. They're mm-hmm. from Ohio. Oh yeah, we're at and uh, they're from Akron or Akron, Ken. Uh, or, it's so uh, far from like everything. It's like Ken or, north. I don't know. Where are they? Shout out to where the fuck you're from, <laughs> Cleveland, Akron. Ken. <laughs> Have you guys? So how many times have you guys played Ohio? Oh, uh, just once. Just once. We're no, at. no, no. Twice, oh. twice, twice. We're at. Um, we played in Ken, uh, in Akron. In Akron, okay. Yeah, and then a house show in. No, no. We played at a venue in Kent and a house show in Akron. We played some, like, falafel plays. What the fuck? With uh, Motives and, and uh, Bugler it and place. Vessels. It was, like, yeah, I don't know. It was, like, it was pretty cool. Like, it was kind of like a big... Uh, I don't, how bar, would you explain restaurant? It? Yeah. With a big stage? Yeah. But, yeah. And it was, like, packed out. That Where was that? That Kent? was in Kent. Kent? Yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah. That's where the fucking university is. So I imagine oh, that's really? where they, Yeah, okay. yeah. Kent University. So that's yeah. what, it makes sense why they have some kind of crazy shows going on up there. Yeah. I never watched that, like, what's that wizard movie? Harry Potter? Po- Potter. Harry Potter? In the yeah. Wizard Factory? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, never, I don't watch that stuff. But, like, 
they have a like a Harry Potter alley thingy. Like, oh yeah, like a the, Diagon Alley thing. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what it was called. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm not like super into Harry Potter, but I know at least a little bit. Like fucking, where was your childhood, homeboy? You don't got any Harry Potter in there? I was skateboarding. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was off doing other things, just playing in the dirt. <laughs> nah, I got you. How, how old are you? I'm 26. Oh, okay, gotcha. I mean, yeah. so we're like we're like right around the same age. I'm 24. Mm-hmm. Got you. Um, okay, really, 20, fucking never mind. <laughs> 26 is a fucking don't know Harry Potter. God damn. I know, um, I know Harry Potter. I just couldn't think yeah, of like no, the I got wizard you, I got guy. Like, dude, I so I work with kids as like my job, and I work with. Like, That's kid. why you know who that guy is. Who? Harry Potter. Well, no, no, no. Well, okay. he's a crazy yeah, that that guy. <laughs> no, the crazy thing about working with teenagers is that like, I'm working with this whole like the, the next the upcoming generation, and fucking none of them know Harry Potter. Really? It's like like the, like Harry Potter, Hunger Games, none of it. What do they know? I, they know like I don't know Tide Pods, like <laughs> whatever people, whatever people are talking is about. Is that right what now. The, the kids are <laughs> eating? Yeah, that's killing people. I know that that's actually know, not even funny. They know they YouTubers. Can't. Like that's like, that's all they fucking do is watch YouTube. Now. Listen yeah. up, you savages! <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to eat this thing I just found in my mom's laundry. <laughs> <laughs> um, fucking well, okay. So I I love asking bands that have been on the road. This what was the first tour like? What was the first tour? For Lifelink or the first tour I ever went on ever? Oh, fuck. Let's do both. Why not? Let's, oh, let's man. have cake and eat it, too. Okay. Uh, well, for my first tour ever, I was in a different band with the bass player of our band, Ross, and it was like 30 days, and we didn't know that we were supposed to ask for guarantees. Oh, shit. <laughs> and yeah, we panhandled a lot. But That's what you're supposed to do, though. Your first tour should be like your first fucking, car. It should be fucked up. Yeah, it was... I met so many cool people, and now, like, that we're in our real band, those people still come out to our, like, real band shows. So it's That's like, fucking awesome. Hell yeah, we got places to stay, and people that we met, like, and that are friends, and, like... What kind of music were you playing back then? Shitty metalcore. Metalcore? Yeah. Gotcha. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a metalcore guy myself, but... That's how I met them. Was I auditioned for their band? Nice. Yeah. He sent us. And my, so my first tour ever was with Touche. Yeah. With Touche? Yeah. That was our old band. That was our old band. Oh, I thought you were talking about Touche Amore. No. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? You're <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. He had a rough start. <laughs> I was like, shitty. Dude, I fucking yeah. just saw them at the underground with a bunch of other bands that were fucking killer. Um, Mike went to that the other day. Yeah, it was them, Single Mothers, and yep. Gouge Away, and it was oh, fucking the, killer. I have the ground. poster on my wall right now. Dude, Gouge Away blew everybody off. Really? Blew everyone off the stage. Like, Single Mothers is what I went for, Yeah, and they were great. That's the, she's amazing, is what I hear. Gouge Away? Yeah. Dude, so, I didn't even know she was in the band. I thought she was just, like, some, like, chick who was, like, hanging out. Like, she was, because she doesn't look no. like a chick in a band. Like, she yeah. had, like, a fanny pack on and stuff. She's no, like, she's the shit, dude. Dude, and we fucking, <laughs> so we went to see Single Mothers, and Single Mothers were, they were great. They were exactly what I expected. Yeah, but they stayed at her house one time. Really? Yeah. They went straight to bed. Yeah. They, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> for, all, for, for writing all these party songs, they didn't want to <laughs> party with us. They wanted to just go to sleep. Fuck that was wait, wait, no wait fuck fuck out wait when did you hang out with single mothers when when did this uh, happen? we used to have a, a house that we lived at called Club Cowabunga okay and like so like we'd throw shows there and we'd also just like every time a band was in town we'd be like yeah you can yeah. sleep over and like yeah they ended up sleeping over those mother- that was it those motherfuckers just. Slept, yeah. <laughs> slept, left. They might. I think they might have left us a note on yeah. the first. I was like, "Thanks." Yeah, that, dude, they're <laughs> not wonderful. even long or anything. They're 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 one like they, but like I said like they played and it was exactly what I expected. It was fantastic. Like I, at the underground in August, it was a little much or September or whatever. It was hot, really. Full. I was like I, about to fall over and pass out. But gouge away, just fucking leveled everybody. They were so good. That's what Mike said. We ha- I have that poster in my room right now. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see them next time they come around for sure. So w- tell me about the first Lifelink tour then. What was the first Lifelink tour? Connor. It was, oh, it was just by ourselves. Yeah. Right. It was just a. It was awesome. Just a. I think yeah, our first Lifelink tour nuts. ever was awesome. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's lucky. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just like West Coast and like Utah, Nevada. We, we've always been really lucky on the West Coast. Yeah. Like, West Coast is pretty so we've done pretty well. We did we we did the best in Colorado. 
Where? Colorado. We did Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs! Yeah. We did, oh. Well, no, we did Colorado Springs, Denver, and Fort Collins. Have you ever played Grand Junction? Grand huh. Junction at the, Where's that? the Mesa Theater. It's like right on the western border. It's very Colorado. south. Uh-uh. We, we got thought, in. I thought uh, southwest, yeah. We, we just played like a bar like right on the strip in Colorado Springs, like right on like the, one of the main drags. No, 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 no. In Grand Junction. Oh, in Grand. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. I thought that was the name so of the place. So Grand Junction only has w- one venue. Okay. That we know of, but it's like marquee size, like it's like oh, huge. Shit. It's really and the really first time, our first tour ever, we played there, and there was no local bands. It was there were no other bands. It was just That's us. It. And we, and we only knew I, how to play four songs. I even told the promoter, I was like, "Yo, we got like, a, like twenty minutes." <laughs> <laughs> I think it was shorter. And dude, kids showed up, and like then they like they like bought us a hotel. It was like the first and last yeah. rock star treatment we ever had. Dude, that's fucking awesome. That's <laughs> the, that's the crazy yeah. thing though about like playing, and I'm sure you guys can test this too. Playing small towns can be fucking amazing. Yeah, like yeah. Cause that's where the kids are hungry and they yeah. need some shit to, to you know to really get off to and get excited about. What was it like when you guys were in Colorado Springs? Was it nuts? Because those kids roll out. Yeah, it was nuts. We had actually our best show in um, Fort Collins. Really? Yeah. We, I mean, Colorado Springs was great. But, like, we were having – I think we were too focused. We had a lot of technical problems happening that night, so we were more, like, focused on just trying to get through, like, the, the set. set. yeah. And then Denver was really cool. It was, like, right in the heart of Denver, up upstairs in some loft. I think – I we played one time in Denver, um, and upstairs in some loft, mm-hmm. like – it was like it was an art some, space. It was yeah, it was like ours a was bar called, or it was a bar, but Oh yeah, ours wasn't ours was literally just like a like an art it was called like the deer pile. And it was called that because right behind the stage there was like three deer fucking each other on top of them. Oh my god. That. <laughs> That's awesome. It was cool though, dude. Denver we fell in we fell so in love with Colorado that when we got back from the road, we were like, let's all move there. Like dude. to get we made we made fucking plans. Like we're moving to Colorado. <laughs> We've had spots like that. Yeah. Like, like we're at where we we just fall in love with. Dude. Pretty much everywhere but everywhere. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, and fuck New Mexico and fuck Texas. Yeah, I agree. Like, New Mexico sucks. I yeah. I hate driving through I, it. I don't like going to the, I don't like the South. Yeah, dude, well, the South is know. it's a rough place, man. It, it's it's a hard I like great, Port great here on. There. Yeah. Well if that so I would say Bremerton, Washington. Bremerton, Ooh. Washington, Port Huron. Huron. Or like Orlando, Florida. That really? Orlando, sick. Florida. Yeah. We had yeah. Dude, we played a pretty big show <laughs> You in don't Orlando. seem to be convinced. What happened in Orlando, Florida? We played some crazy shows, but there was also some crazy girls. <laughs> I'll just say in that. Orlando? Yeah. I'll just say that in there. Well, I mean, it's Florida. They're scary. I don't mean the stereotype, but it is Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Florida is like, like some crazy shit happening over there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, it, I don't know what it is, what's in the water, or what's in the fucking medicine, but shit. <laughs> like, it's, crazy. it's fucking crazy. Um... So, um, so what? So the year's over. What were some of your favorite parts of twenty seventeen? Uh, twenty seventeen favorite parts. Man, I would say I Matter Festival was really cool. Yeah, like that was definitely an eye opening experience because the most people we've ever played for. And on, I've never played outside and on such a big stage. Yeah, like, that was that was like the first like real deal like like actual real show we've ever played everybody was catering for us everybody was just like loading our gear on for uh, it, there was like staff that like i don't know it was really really weird. isn't that crazy when when people are like supposed to be like working for you yeah and like, what and, the uh, fuck yeah i'm like <laughs> hey dave i'm just trying to do my thing yeah <laughs> i know mike mike would say otherwise because he had a really bad experience with the drum yeah tech. he didn't like that oh really yeah. he just wanted to set it up himself Oh really? Yeah. Got it. That make I mean I can see how that can be a pain, especially when you're like such a homegrown like DIY like band. Yeah, you don't want people touching your shit. I can see. It. And drummers are like that though. Well, Our, my drummer's like that. My drummer just, won't let us t- f- touch he, fucking anything. He's like my shit's sliding. I, I need to set it up and like instead he had to go like this and keep flagging the guy oh, over. The guy man. had to like run over. It was really weird. That sucks. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like my drummer's super like I, I'm like hey man can I help you carry no. No, I got it. Like, he's, like, super, like, all of it. This is my shit. So I was like, all right, well, fucking fuck you, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry for asking. Okay. okay. Yeah. So they had that. Like, highlight, definitely I matter, and then just releasing um, music. The, yeah, the, the music videos. videos. Yeah, it's fucking killer. 
It kicks, dude. It sounds really good. Thanks. Thank I was listening you, man. to it today, like before we got. I mean, I've obviously heard it before, but I was listening to it again today, and it's wonderful. Thanks, man. I like the other shit that you guys have on your Bandcamp too. Thank you. I think it's great. I think it's great. This is the appreciation station. I appreciate you. <laughs> appreciate. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So, what, well, speaking of album, what's it? What, what's the, what's the deal with Inner Strength? Like, how? What is that? Like, are you guys on a label? Is that a releasing thing? What is that? Uh, yeah, it's our label. Late label, label. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, so they just they just. Uh, are helping us with putting out the music that we have and like um, just getting it out to like different like articles and like gotcha. I don't they know. They do a like, lot of distribution, put us in different stores. Yeah. Um, do you guys have vinyl? No. God, no, no. Fuck, I want vinyl. So I don't either. I, don't I have know. Vinyl, so yeah. I think uh, like I really want to put out vinyl for our next release. Mm-hmm. So. so you already got that planned? What you guys? We have a lot next? planned. Yeah. Yeah. It's 2018. It's the year for like, attack. Yeah, yeah. Probably, we have probably like <laughs> next two years planned for like stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. You guys are already writing, already working on new shit. We have a lot of stuff written. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's that's great. So, are you as one of those bands where, as you're recording one album, you're already like have songs that are ready for the next thing, but it doesn't work on that album? Like I've been in that situation before. Not really. That's good. Like this sucks. I mean, it all started like I used to write. And then I was like, guys, I am not very good at this. Like, <laughs> you guys got to start writing. And then Calm and Josh just started writing, and it just started turning amazing. And then Calm just wrote, like, pretty much the entire new, like, album, like, with full length. And, yeah. Like, so, <laughs> now, now Inner Strength up. is a Pennsylvania label, right? Yeah, that's correct. Got it. So, how'd you hooked up with them? Uh, um, Bungler. Yeah, Bungler. Bungler is, is that a, a person. Is it's a band that, that we okay. we tour with. Got They're it. They're from Buffalo, New York. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, they just got signed to them, and we were talking to record labels. We were getting fucking shitty deals, like a lot of labels that we wanted to be on, and getting terrible deals from that them. That sucks. And so we were like, no, I guess let's not like you know do that. And Interesting just gave us an awesome deal. He was straightforward. He was like, you know, I'm not trying to, like, put you guys in, like, you know, stick you guys on the shelf or anything. Like, <clears throat> I, I want to see you grow, and if I can be a part of it, then, like, that'd be great. Like, That's awesome. Was it a big change going from, like, being a DIY band for so long to being on a label? Not at all. Not at really? all. Really? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. No, nothing. Like, he just helps. Like, I don't know. It, it just helps. Yeah, like, you that's know. good. The, yeah, the way, the way that we have... Have it set up with him is that it's just a it's like a win win for both of us. Yeah, there's no, there's no way that either of us could like lose. That's basically. yeah, that's crazy. So, our yeah. contract is got a really one really good deal. Yeah. Our contract's really good. That's good. Yeah, that's fucking awesome because yeah. that's like I've never I rarely do I hear that from like this is the first time you've been on a label. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th- this is that's not something I usually hear from like yeah our first label is awesome. Well, like, I mean <laughs> we like. We were picky. That's good. Like fuck yeah. It was like we were waiting until the Jennifer Aniston came around and we. Well, no, that makes we set sense. up for Monica, but like, <laughs> well, because yeah. well, you don't like, want to get like fucked over. Like, like we let's got say, one like, of the friends. So. That's the thing. Like, you can have. <laughs> and I was talking to Brandon about this too. Like, it's so much better to be on a label like Inner Strength than it would be to be on a label like Victory. Yeah. Who like you've heard their name, but yep. they just fuck you so hard. Oh yeah. Uh, or like we are. Or, uh, I'm not going to say anything. You don't. Have, I mean, you don't have I don't want to say anything mean about anybody. Y'all are right, tight. Sorry. <laughs> They mean to take you down that route, but no, no, fuck yeah. victory because they've heard a lot of bands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they uh, they sent us a little thingy. Oh yeah, it was nice of them. That I appreciate nice them. that you guys did that. We appreciate you. Um, so fuck it, let's let's talk about the album, man. Like, where'd you guys record it? Corey Spots. Corey Spots. Yeah, yeah. Where's that? He's a guy. He's a guy. Where's he at? He's he, the guy. He's in uh, he's in North Phoenix. Okay, cool. Yeah, like pretty close to Cave Creek, and the guy. Um, He's like he's pretty known, I guess, in like the heavy scene for recording uh, "Job for a Cowboy." Oh shit, I got you. Uh, he did the, like "Bless the Fall." Which 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 "Bless the Fall"? I'm talking like, his, uh, last his last walk. walk. No, or, fuck. or was it the EP? No, no, he did the his last walk the because album. the nice. EP was done in like I don't know one of their. That's right. Yeah, no, he's, some shit. that was all, that was like uh, obviously a long. That was like what ten years ago. Yeah, I was supposed more to than, say way shit. more I was, than like, ten years. So into that when yeah. I was fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it was like my favorite album. <laughs> yeah. for, like. Dude, no, he, he job for a cowboy album. Yeah. That's he that's did Lydia. Crazy. That's fucking really Lydia. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, why have I never heard this name? 
That's what I hate about being in the indie. Like I love the indie. Dude. I love being in an indie band and indie scene and all that kind of shit. But we don't know dick about any of the heavy bands. Like yeah. it's so like Dark. segregated into each own little yeah, it's thing. Weird. He he's the man. He's in. He just likes. That guy is so passionate about music. Really, that's yeah, awesome. He loves to it's make. It's insane. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a learning experience being in the studio with him. Yeah, I love that. We yeah. have my the producer that I always go to is like the two we use, um, Matt Alderwood from Trouble Minds. Yeah. And oh, okay, I know him. Yeah, like he's he wonder every like I. Some, I just hit him up and I'm like, yo, if you ever like have a dude who needs someone to play bass, like please just let me play bass because I love being around you because I always learn so much stuff. Like that's dude, all, yeah. He's been to our house like a million times, like played our house. Who, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he's a sweetie. <laughs> I fucking love Matt. He's, he's such nice. a good musician too. Yeah, yeah he's crazy. Like I always thought he was a great musician, but like when you sit down with him and you like work through stuff in the studio, oh, and really? he's just like... <sighs> Like coming up with like crazy. He's like, yeah, this is cool, but what if you did this? And you like play something I that's love amazing, that. yeah. and you're like, oh fuck yes, let's absolutely do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how like a how a producer can, like a good producer can help shape your music without taking control of it. You know what I mean? Like there's some like I know I'm not gonna say names, but I know certain producers that are like around Phoenix who will fucking rewrite your song for you like without you even being there. Yeah, fuck that noise. Well, yeah, yeah. That's how. There's like one of my friends is like, yeah, dude, I don't even know, like I don't even know how to play the guitar part because he changed it. Nah, like, what the fuck? That ain't never happened. <laughs> yeah, no crazy, way. Crazy, dude. But I don't know. I mean, um, so you guys recorded it there. How long did it take? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. That's yeah, it was like like about two days per song. That's that's nice. In a way, yeah. That's I mean, nice. it was like two days for drums, a week for guitar, a week for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like yeah, it was like, it was four, like fourteen days, I think. Yeah, that's, dude, that, see, that's like that's really nice. Yeah. That's, I, feel like, I feel like two weeks is the perfect amount of time to really flush through. Like, and how many songs is it? It's like six, that was only six. six. Yeah. Hopefully, we can bang out this fucking full length in four yeah. <laughs> two weeks. That's awesome, man. I, I do you guys like recording, or is it just like too much too stressful? I like playing shows. Gotcha. I think he likes recording. I, mean, I like all of it. I mean, I like all of it too. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy recording more than your average bear. I don't know. Me too. We yeah, just sure. started like writing the pre-production for our new album, mm -hmm. and we started doing it ourselves. And now it's actually kind of becoming fun yeah. as opposed to stressful. Like the idea is to get yeah. good at recording. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's like that's like, like the main goal I think for everybody is to like be able to like put your music into something permanent. But have it be exactly how you want it to sound. Absolutely, that's the exactly. Goal. You know, that's the, that is the ultimate goal, and and I can't fucking do it. <laughs> Dude, I feel like that, Never that should be the goal it. for like every band because yeah. that's the thing. Nothing shows you how shitty you are at your craft until you get into recording, and then you're like, Fuck. Yeah. yeah. And like, it sucks when you like can kill it live, and then you go into the booth, and you're like, uh, Yeah. Like, God damn it. Like this isn't mm -hmm. what I normally do. Like yeah. I'm supposed to be doing better. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's the craziest thing too is, and, I, and I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely, a, I've done this before where you're so like cocksure that you're going to kill it. And mm -hmm. you're so confident coming off a run of shows and then yeah. you're going to go in and kill it. And then you just like shit your pants. Yeah. <laughs> and you hear that first, can I hear that playback? And you're like, <laughs> Oh God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. It, I, that's fucking awesome. So did you guys do you, now? Do you, did you live record this or was it multi-tracked? Um, Calm has just been like working super hard. Are you, are you talking about like our, our pre production we're doing? No, no, no. The the album that you guys that you guys already did. Oh, Love Lost. What? Yeah, yeah. Um, everything's tracked live, but it's multi tracked. It's not like, you know, just like one track. If that makes gotcha. sense. No, so uh, what I mean is like, so I guess, so are you guys like sitting in a room playing it live all together and recording, and no. you're sitting down and doing piece no. by piece. Yeah, yeah. Piece by piece. got it. Yeah. Yeah, but everything, nothing is sampled. There's nothing fake. Yeah. That's like, awesome. So, that's like really it, really cool. Yeah, but yeah, we didn't do it. No, all. like giant bass drops, yeah. like the fucking shake everything around, <laughs> 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 like glitchy whatever. Actually, I don't even think there was a click when we did it. Yeah, really. Yeah, because we because uh, the way that Corey had us do it was like to make sure that it sounds exactly how we do it live. Um, that we all recorded it in a room first together. And then um, he like took that, like, and then had that be our map. So like we just played along with like the drums and then like. So there wasn't oh, like actually. a clack, yeah, a click. There wasn't like a any like set tempo. That's good. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, it means you have a good drummer. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I mean, there's like a lot of like feel changes, like tempo changes. And stuff, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, well, that's that, that, that's that's super good because a lot of drummers, like 
will sit down and you're playing along. And I've I've done this with with bands before. You're sitting down to play play through to record, and it's just like, whoa, 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 whoa why am I speeding up all of a sudden in this random spot? And it sounds super off, yeah. you know. So that's good. I've I, I've always live recorded in the past just because I'm fucking never had the money to like sit through and really record everything mm-hmm. like I really want to you know yeah. that's, I think that's what we're going to do next we're going to do next time and save up a fuck ton of money to do that yeah it's so expensive like, I mean unless you go to like the right person but of course I think Corey, Corey's like pretty affordable yeah like I don't know what the budget is yeah no like, you don't have to like give me his business card over yeah. the fuck podcast <laughs> <laughs> dude we like no I understand because like our first what was uh, nothing yeah uh, that what? shit was cheap 500 bucks yeah for, for how many songs? For four, four. songs. Nice. Yeah. That and motherfucker like, didn't give a shit about us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah I mean, they're, they're, that's the thing, though, when it comes to full lengths is you can usually get, like, a deal. Like, no, we're going to come in here, we're going to spend this much, this many songs, like, give us, as opposed to, like, song per song. Per for song. this yeah. next, like, actual album, it'll be our first actual album, not an EP. Okay, And cool. we're expecting to spend the money. We know. Do it. And, like, we're fine with it, like... We just want it to be what we want to hear. Mm-hmm. We want it to be like what we wrote, you know? Absolutely. So. I mean, it, that's that's cool. And, and as long as you go to somebody that you trust, too, uh, that's having a producer that you can really, like, understand you. Feel comfortable and with. and Because like, yeah. that shit can be way harder than it needs to be. If yeah. you've got some dude who, like, has his vision of, no, I want it to sound like this. Yeah. No. <laughs> we got our vision, and <laughs> I want it to be this, <laughs> and that guy's helping us. So... Obviously, you guys go out of town a lot, but what are your feelings on like how do you what what's how do you feel about like the Phoenix scene like how what we have here? We have the best scene in America. Yeah, <laughs> you just yeah. saying that because we're talking to people in Phoenix. Um, I, <laughs> I'll say just Arizona has yeah. the best hardcore scene in yeah, America. The best hardcore. Um, no, I, I fucking I like Phoenix a lot. I wish we had more all ages venues, but you know it is what it is. You guys have been playing for how long here in Phoenix? Three years. Three years? Yeah. Life three, has been around for three years? Three and a half years, maybe. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I I seriously think that, like, we do really, really have, like, the best scene. That's awesome. It's nuts here. Like, yeah, dude, it's crazy for the sure. The best bands come out of Arizona. The best kids go to the shows in Arizona. It's great. Yeah, like, I was really surprised, like, when I went to other towns where I was like, what, you mean the kids don't just, like, go to shows? Like, cause that's what I'm so used to seeing. Right. Like, pe- like a lot of the people who follow us follow like a shit ton of other bands who we don't even play with. And it's like, yeah, like, what are you doing tonight? I'm going to the fucking truck space or I'm going to rebel or whatever. You know what I mean? It happens all the time. It's yeah. like, what you guys don't do that's that That's a normal thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know. That's what I love about Arizona. I mean, there's also like Colorado Springs. Yeah. Those, those kids roll out. Um, Philadelphia, like, mm. Yeah. Uh, let's say in Florida, those kids moved out. Uh, like they rolled in. Like it was awesome. That's amazing. Like there's just certain spots that like people care. Yeah. And like they really do. That, care. Like that's Arizona. Like, yeah. Everybody. It's because of Corey Spots. <laughs> <laughs> so what, do you guys have like a favorite spot to play here? Favorite spot? Yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, like pub rock has been really good to us. We just. We just got to play a fest that was at this place called The Studio that just closed down. And our buddy JJ, like, threw it. John Wire, everybody fucking... It's just, like, this, theme, this like, like, big... It's, like, the most ultimate DIY thing you could possibly think of. Like, yeah. this guy, like, runs a venue out of there. He, like, slept Records, there. Records. <laughs> and, like... Everything. It, and, like, a lot of, like... They would have, like, big bands play there sometimes, too. Like, uh, like the Life and Death Tour. Like, they would have, like expire play there and like nice yeah. so i gotta say shout out to them because like that was one of the coolest venues to play yeah that's fucking awesome yeah. the, the house show scene here also is really intense there's yeah. like a lot of houses that you just like oh this is a venue right it's, it's called the compound or it's yeah. called this or it's yeah. called that and then you like look it up it's like oh i can't find it on google maps and it's like some fucking the crazy house on New Year's. <laughs> oh did you really yeah every year really <laughs> it's fun dude it's like a there's like a thousand people there. There's a lot of people that go there. It's yeah? I, yeah? I only went there once, but... Andrew, there. Jackson, Jihad, and Playboy, Playboy Man, Man Baby. Baby played. Nice. Wait, 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 I think we might be talking about a different place. Where are you guys, where are you talking no, about? No, I'm talking about right behind the farmer's market. Ash, it's like Farmer and... Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over in Tempe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm talking about a different... different oh, company. Yeah, There's like okay. a really shitty, scary place called The Compound in Phoenix. I'm like, Buckeye. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, we're talking about the wrong place. <laughs> I was like, damn, I did fucking do that? No, but no. Our, our house, 
Club Cowabunga was like one of those houses where I've heard of that like place. This. Yeah, I heard of that. It's we used not, to have crazy yeah. house shows there. When did, when did that stop being a thing? When we uh, moved out, uh, which two, was two <laughs> years ago. <laughs> two years ago. See, yeah, we I got started in this band in 2015, so I think we lo- kind of lost you guys the just window. missed it. Yeah, because yeah. I remember hearing about it though. It was nuts. It would just be like fucking 200 kids in our living room just crowd surfing around. And it'd be like mixed yes, mixed bills too. Like it wouldn't just yeah. be like, oh, this is all Hardcore, heavy. Hardcore. Like, and then like, we'd play, Sundress would play, and like and that's fucking <laughs> crazy. Like, everybody dude. play. It's just so fun. How do you fucking live in a house like that? That's why we moved. Uh, I was gonna say, like, <laughs> I feel like I'm so anal about like my house. Like I'm like, go go away. Like I need this to be like I don't this know. clean. Yeah. <laughs> everybody <laughs> else was everybody else is like a queen freak. I was cool with it. I didn't give a shit. We also had like but, seven dogs. Yeah, that Jesus was Christ. Because yeah. well, we also fostered dogs at that gotcha. house. So like, that's why we threw a fest called Adopt Don't Shop. It nice. was a two day fest. <laughs> there was like sixty to seventy bands, like yeah. thirty each day. It was crazy, and it went off without a hitch. We didn't even play until two in the morning. Oh my god! And there was still like two hundred kids just going nuts. That's like, kind of how like Toso Fest was. Like, yeah, dude, those kids are so nice. Toes yeah. is wonderful. They're yeah. coming on this month too. I love those guys. I dude. go out and see them all the time. Dude, they're they so play funny. A lot. Yeah, they play con- and every single yeah. time they play, it's a different show. Yeah, yeah. they have like That's a different theme. They're so, <laughs> so cool, <laughs> so theatrical. It's crazy. Like my girlfriend works at Fifty One West, so like I go and I go and hang out there. Who's your girlfriend? My girlfriend's name is Alicia Cruz. She's she she works sound there. Um, I don't know if I've ever probably seen different it. different scene. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Well, they don't really do metal shows there or heavy shows there. Yeah, they anymore. do. Fifty one. Yeah, fifty one yeah. doesn't do as much. Like, <laughs> we sold that enough. place out. And when? Fucking. This is like a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know how it is? All the like rafters uh-huh. are all bent and ripped yeah, yeah. out. It's because like yeah. everybody was just. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Like over the last like three months, they've slowed down on all their heavy shows because it's just taken too much of damage. Um, yeah, but anyway, fucking fifty one. Like I'm there, I'm there all the time. Because anytime she works, it's like, well, I I can get in for free. Obviously, I'm gonna be here all the time to see shows. Yeah. yeah. So I just like work concessions in the back to make myself fucking useful. Yeah. And um, I see Toso all the time, and they every single time they kill it, and every single time they're doing something weird ass shit. Yeah, they crowd do. Participation. <laughs> I want to know where they get those glass bottles that they break on their heads. I want to know how they think of. <laughs> it, how do they come them. up with so many new <laughs> concepts? Like. Yeah, they're, they're just so creative. Uh, and they're, they're cool to be around too. Yeah, nice they're guys. so they're like one of the they're, they're people who they're so ridiculously nice that I'm always like, what the fuck? Where, where are you from? Yeah. Are you Canadian? Like what? The, like he's like they're <laughs> so ridiculously. Oh, like I like have to get by them. Like oh, excuse me. Oh no, excuse me. Like <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, um, yeah, that's fucking awesome. Um, I wish like there there's some venues that I wish I would have played that have been gone. Like, there's a lot of those that go in and out. Like, even, like, shitty ones. Like, Martini Ranch. I, I miss I the clubhouse. Been. Yeah, dude. Like, fucking, I never got to play the clubhouse either. It's That place is cool, man. Because it got, shot, got, like, shot up or something, right? <laughs> I think that was Tech Nine's fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember hearing about that shit, but. Yeah. I think somebody died there during Acacia Strain. Acacia, sorry. Really? Yeah. No like, way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody that, was, somebody but like. That's tried not to, when it got closed. No. Okay. Okay. No, but it was a rap thing though. It's what why. I got yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. no, I could imagine somebody like. No, but somebody like did a, like tried to like stage dive and like nobody caught him and like, <gasps> yeah, and, like that was like hard concrete. You know what I mean? And he yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. Hit his yeah. head and then, where, where was that? The, club, the clubhouse. Where? At, where, at where the clubhouse. Was the clubhouse. It's on Dorsey and Broadway. Dorsey and Broadway. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I never, I've never been there. I remember like Anti Flag played there not too long before they closed, and I wanted to go like, really bad. Scottsdale yeah. Road in Tacoma, one mile south of Bell Road. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so like, what are you guys listening to right now? Uh, Gleamer, NPR, and NPR. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I really like Oso Oso. I've been um, hearing about them like crazy. I like I that band. Yeah. Um, Prince Daddy and the Hyenas. My boys in Way Under, Genesis Company. Am wait, I just? Am I supposed way to shout out? I ran into them the other the other day. I had no idea who they, I had no idea who they were. Way I Under, was, dude. Yeah, yeah. I was walking. I, I was I was working at Fifty One, and I was walking down the strip with like bags of ice, and I saw this dude. These these dudes who were obviously in a band. Yeah, we of we all practice right there. You practice practice there too? Yeah. Okay, so like we're, I was walking by, and I saw this dude hanging out there, and I'm like, okay, obviously this guy's in a band. Like I can tell, and I started talking to him and I asked him what band he's in. He's like, I'm in Way Under. I was like, okay, I didn't know who you are. Was he and blonde? I, no, he's dark, like long, like brown hair. Smoking a cigarette. I think, was, he, I think it was, I don't know if it was blonde. It was long and scraggly. 
Does he uh, sound Charlie really Ryan. gangster? Maybe. He was a real deep voice. What? I don't know. I don't know. It was probably right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, I could be crazy. <laughs> Those kids are my best friends. Really? Yeah. Like I hang. I go skating with Ryan every day. That's awesome. <laughs> like every day, every day. That, so it's like a fucking. Is that really a marijuana place? Yeah, like, but well, it's, it's, a, it's a. It's a. The, it's not. So they don't actually have marijuana there. Yeah. The guy gives you the the certificate. The like card. Gives you your card. Yeah. Medical gotcha. Card. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's a marijuana doctor. Yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. it. I got it. But, but that place, the the practice space. We've been there for a long time. It's like three different suites, and we're just renting one of the suites. And our suite is a practice space, and like oh. well, one of the other suite. It's Got not. It. Even, it's not even really a practice space. It's just been used for music for so long yeah. that the guy, the dude that owns Yucca, that's who I pay rent to. Oh shit! And like, there's, <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking weird life, dude. I pay rent to the guy from Yucca to, to work at a marijuana to play music in a marijuana <laughs> doctor's suite. Yeah, but there's money. no way he could have any. There's no other business that could be in that room other than music. Yeah. Because it's just so torn apart. Like, there used to be I've all these hardcore yeah. shows, and like the walls are all fucking beaten to shit. And yeah, because that was what was it called before? It was, called, was it Fifty Two West or something? No, shit? it was, what was called, it called the Spot. The, the Spot. spot. Yeah. yeah. Because I think I've seen pictures from shows that used to happen there. Yeah, like the trash cans getting thrown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah um, yeah, that's that's so fucking crazy because I've heard like sketchy shit about that place. Do you do you keep your stuff there? Or you just take it home. Um, what are you supposed? Well, to do? I mean, we're like Calm runs that place now. Oh, like so we're in charge. Really? Yeah. So like, we're not really too scared of anything. That's cool. Like, that's awesome. I don't know. Yeah, I've heard like good and bad things. Yeah, it used to be sketchy. It got better, then it got bad, and now we're in charge of it. And like, it's a lot like better. Sur- we have a surveillance camera and stuff. So oh, fuck yeah. Pretty nice. <laughs> That's now, amazing. Yeah. We took care of business on that. <laughs> you got like leather sofas and shit in there. <laughs> There's a lot of sofas in there, actually. Are there? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome, man. So I, I want to hear, like, is there anything more that you can tell me about, like, the stuff you guys have upcoming in the next year that you want to, that, like... You're not, like, uh, legally binded to not talk no, about No, I mean, we don't, like... So we have, like, plans to do stuff. We just haven't really solidified anything. But I think what we want to do is put out, like, a couple of songs that we have just to, like, keep people afloat that are, like, listening to us and, like, so that they're not, like, getting tired of listening to, like, the last release or, like, music before mm-hmm. that. Just, like, put something out new and then, like, save up because fucking recording is so expensive and especially a full length is so so daunting because of the Mm -hmm. price but that's what we want to do we want to finish recording the full length by the end of the year so that we could put it out next year for sure um and then we just want to tour tour a bunch yeah dude fuck yeah i'm super i i want i do you you guys playing in phoenix anytime soon i don't believe we have anything booked i love playing home but yeah we don't get to do it that often yeah but well, but, I mean, it makes the shows bigger, too. Yeah. Yeah. So I, It like, does yeah. help out, but, I mean, I'd like to play shows all the time. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. I mainly just write and That's awesome. just work on getting this out so that we can progress from where we are right now. Yeah. Then that do that, that that makes sense. That's 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 the shitty thing about being in a band that like starts to really get traction is that you have to start doing the thing that you love less, which is like play shows. Mm-hmm. Like, let's yeah. See, we got to a point where it was like, all right, well... We should probably slow down on shows so that we don't like abuse our audience. Now that we have one, and I was like, "Fuck, yeah, I'm gonna go join another band." <laughs> I'm gonna go, yeah, like, and we like, we just started dicking around doing other little dumb shit to like keep us busy. Yeah, like, like what? <laughs> Me and the dude from Way Under and the uh-huh. dude from Genesis Company. We started a band called Jizz. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. We just play beat down shows. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty and good, actually. It's, it's just yeah. something to do. And then me and me and Mike, our drummer, are in a band called uh, Ghost Mother. You're yeah. in Ghost Mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you have you always been in Ghost Mother? No, no, no. 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 Mike just, has. He just started well, playing no, bass. I guess Mike Mike's been in the band for like a couple years. Yeah, but Rob I, Boehm used to. I be was the about to say, dude, Rob Beam is one of my best friends. He used to be like one of my really close friends. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, guy, yeah. he's yeah. a cool guy. He's like, a good guy. I fucking Rob. He's like, really good drummer too. Dude, Rob and I like. You, so he got me into going to the gym like years ago, and he still lived here. We worked he's together. He's huge. That guy's jacked. Yeah, he's yeah. Jack now. He and I, so he and I worked together the same like soul crushing job that the, that the guys in your young fucking work at. Oh and, my god! And um, <laughs> so yeah, me, Rob, and the two brothers from your young all worked at the same place. Augie and Alex. Yeah, yeah, Augie yeah. and Alex. And um, Augie and Alex, sorry. So 
Fuck, those guys are great too, but um, Rob was just this goddamn goofball who I was like, I have got to be friends with this guy. Dude, like, he's, he's so, so fun. funny. And then he ended up, he and I ended up going to the gym like all the time. And then um, now he fucking, he's got some crazy scientist job somewhere doing yeah. something. Yeah. I Colorado. see his Snapchats. They're <laughs> funny as fuck. Yeah, he's like one of my favorite. When you said Ghost Mother, I was like, Rob! <laughs> <laughs> Rob was my boy. Like, I, like, right when we started to really hang out, he fucking abandoned me. <laughs> <laughs> But whatever, um, yeah, that, that, that's fucking awesome, guys. I'm really happy that you're that like, everyone knows Lifelink now. Like you guys are really killing it. I know it sounds hyper, like hyperbolic, but it's true. Like I see your shit everywhere, dude. That makes me feel so cool. It's Thank no, it, it, it is. Like I was ever like I was hanging out with a couple people last night, and I was like, who, I was like, um, yeah, man, I have um, Lifelink coming on this week. They're like fucking eyes wide like holy shit that's awesome. Like, no fuck shit. Did you get Lifelink to come on your show? Like it's suit. Like I'm not even kidding you. Like, that's so cool so and thank you for having us man yeah, of course like, thank you for coming out this Tempe, is really cool having a good time you guys ever like anytime you guys want to come over have some beers we can go for as many as long as you guys want dude i would love that like i have like there's no time constraints at all dude that sounds so if you got awesome. some like if you like like we're only in like an hour in like if you want to tell me some fucking crazy stories we could keep going <laughs> we should we should not <laughs> 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 Sometimes I'm afraid of telling like, stories. Why? <laughs> that's what being in a band is. Yeah, but nobody needs to know. Yeah, that's what. This, yeah. That's what literally. I, that's the one thing I built this entire podcast on was like, some oh. fucked up stories. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's so special about being in a van with your friends is that yeah. you can just like you can do shit together <laughs> that people, other people won't understand. So. Oh yeah, no yeah, dude, I fucking feel you for sure. Yeah, like, yeah man. I, our drummer. <laughs> On, on like a on, on a more tame side of things, like my drummer, we, whenever we would leave like a rest stop or a gas station, because he's a wild psychopath, he would open up the side of the van door and just like wave and scream at people as we're like leaving. The rest <laughs> and he would say hilarious shit. Like he would give the would like scream out his email address. Like, Send me an email. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's like, awesome. We have like video of him being like fax me. Yeah. Like, at all these like crazy people. It's we so need funny. we need to do more light and playful things. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I need to have a story to tell whenever this question comes up, and I can never ever answer anything because I don't want anybody to know the sad truth about the things we do. <laughs> no, yeah, dude. I mean, it's it's some of that shit. I mean, it's crazy. Like he that that same drummer like got my singer to drink his piss once. Like if shit like that happens in bands. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Bad things have happened in our van. <laughs> well, I guess did you guys did you guys ever play? Um, uh, what are the odds? Mm-mm. Well, that's that? like so. That's like um, so. If I were to say like uh, Luke, what are the odds that you lick the salt rock? Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Sorry, for sure. And yeah. then he'd be like, okay, like one to ten, because okay, that's it. like an easy one. So uh-huh. you would count us down. You know, have you have you heard of that game? Uh-uh. So you would count us down three, two, one, and then we would both say a number, and if and it's we the, say the same number, same number, he has to do it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's just doing all. All day long. Yeah. Well, yeah, we do. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or play. We just gamble a lot. Like play a lot of CeeLo. Roll nice. up, like a lot of dice. That's awesome. I don't know. I saw those dice and that's immediately. <laughs> those, those are made oh, of bones. Too. No way. Yeah, are these real? Yeah, those are real bones. That's real a, what? That's a dog. What? Yeah, that's a, that's a dog. What kind of dog? I don't know. I, I bought it. I at Curi- don't know. <laughs> I, it was a, it was a, it was a gift from Curious Nature. Um, it's a, it just says domesticated dog. I don't know what it is. It's real though. My my dog, it's really fucked up. But if you put that skull next to my dog, my dog will not stop smelling it. Dude. Like it like sticks his nose and its nose. Like be the ear, I think. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, man. that's a real dog. That bone and it's in his mouth. I don't know. I found that in the woods and just cleaned it myself. He's getting all stoked about it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's I just found that in the woods, and I like I cleaned it up and um, be- bleached it and made it look all nice. Those the the dice or the bone dice I got in Portland um, at some oddity shop in in like a Hawthorne district or something shit. And those then, are uh, cool. And then this guy is like a partial. Deer. I love going to Portland. I love playing there. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Every time we play there, or every time we go there, even every single time we got to listen to that Portlandia song. <laughs> <laughs> and every, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can keep the dog up. Dude, Portland, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a big Portland fan. I like the areas outside of Portland just because I'm not like a hardcore city city person. Like Tempe Dude. and Phoenix is really nice for me because I don't feel like I'm breathing in brake dust like I do in like Portland. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm so city. Really? Yeah. I Well, I don't know. I think horses smell like shit. <laughs> 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 
Well, like I'm from like a shit like a farm town in Ohio, and I never thought I always hated it growing up, and I don't. I definitely don't want it back to that extreme. But there is still a part of me that's like I want to be able to park my car. Like I said, I want to. You know what I mean? I want to be able to drive <laughs> places. Like I yeah, don't want to have part to walk. Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like the, so that's just me. I, I like driving. Yeah, I really don't like that. Yeah, no, I feel you. Well, we're not friends anymore. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking your dog school. Yeah. Actually, I'm taking your real dog. <laughs> yeah. No, I, this is like my little like weird shit. Dude, kind of I like, like this. This is awesome. Thanks, man. Thank You're you awesome. so much for having. Of course. Us. Yeah. No. Yes. Dude, thank you guys so much for coming on. I really appreciate you. Um, so. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, I have, thank you, Luke. Thank you, Com. Um, anything else you want to say before we before we get out of here? Uh, N- nice lean podcast. No classy. Fat. I've stay, been stay I've been watching too many episodes of Friends. I can't think of anything. Right Why? Now. What do you want to say? That's Friends related. Nothing. Nothing? I just I can't even that's think just, because that show is <laughs> melting my brain. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for listening. I'm going to have more shit coming down the tubes through you the rest of this month, the next month, and hopefully forever. So thank you so much. Bye. Bye.